Drug Court is a behavior modification program that is an alternative to prison time for high-risk offenders who have drug or alcohol addiction problems. In Adair County, the 19-month, five-level program has been in place since March of 2003 to help make sure these individuals get on the right track. We tell them coming into the program, we want you to be a productive, law-abiding citizen uh, who's, who's sober and clean and uh, supports your family and has a job and uh, that's what our goal is for them and hopefully that's their goal for themselves. Curfews, drug testing and court appearances are just a few of the things participants do in the program to help the judge make sure they are doing the right things. But the judge can't do it alone. That's when Aaron, the drug court tracker dog and his partner Jane, the drug court tracker, come in. I think that that makes us unique and, and adds another uh, resource to make sure that these people are accountable and aren't doing some things in their home that they shouldn't be doing. I go out in the evenings um, from anywhere from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. A client's selected randomly. I come to their house, knock on the door, tell them, of course, they know to let me in. Search the living areas. We also search the general areas like living room, dining room, kitchen and then their bedroom, if, and he just sniffs around. If he indicates, then I pull it out and search and look. Aaron will uh, indicate on residue as well. Aaron's nose is really powerful, so the smell gives off the, so if they've gotten rid of it, the smell is still there. If Aaron does find drugs the individual is not supposed to use or have, Jane then contacts the drug court team to address the issue in court. The problem doesn't disqualify the individual. It's just another step the Adair County Drug Court takes to help out that person even more. A lot of our participants aren't going to have perfect performance. We recognize the people, they've got a serious addiction problem, but we are going to deal with it. In the past nine years, the program has been very successful and rewarding to everyone who's a part of it. We have helped a lot of people be successful because the behavior modification aspect of this program is you uh, reward good behavior to try to encourage continued good behavior. It's been great. I've gotten to know the clients. They're all people and human beings. Um, I always try to say something positive to them or interact with them so that they, you know, ha they know me and are comfortable with me. So because we have to be comfortable in order to be successful. Reporting from Kirksville, Vanessa Alonzo, KTVO News.